two nice bucks. Almost had a shot right as I was gonna shoot the eagle. Now we're hunting the third rifle season in Colorado. So some people might think, well, that's three seasons worth of hunters. Well, here at Story Creek, they hardly pressure their bucks. They've got so many deer. Now these bullets, they are made for deer. And the mule deer out here, well, they are big. And I knew this gun was gonna be the perfect solution. I've got all three of my shots right in here. I figured the gun was on, but they always like to check just in case. But one of the things that I've learned around here is you don't wanna to get too pushy and just shoot the first deer you see. So that way you really have a good idea of what's in the area and you can make the best call on a nice buck. We're out here in Southern Colorado at Story Creek Outfitters, and this year, well, I decided not to come with a bow. I came with a rifle instead, and this is gonna be an awesome hunt. Now, the last time I was here with a rifle, well, I brought my Grandma Rose out. <laughs> not even a warning shot? Not even a warning. <laughs> Joey was just amazing with her. We hunted hard, and on the last day, well, my Grandma made a wonderful shot on one of the biggest bucks that we had seen and getting up to that buck, it was truly one of my favorite hunts I've ever done. Wow, pick that up, Grandma. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd shoot a mule deer this big? No. I think it's, uh, it gets other people in the elderly age to say, hey, you can go out and do it. And over the years, we've done so many hunts together. We have had truly amazing hunting. We've taken numerous big mule deer with the bow And I figured if we can do it year in and year out with a bow, we should have some great luck with a rifle this year. Now I'm comfortable out to a couple hundred yards on shots, but again, I like to get in close anytime you can. You're simply taking out as much human error as possible. Plus, that's what hunting's about in my mind. I like to see how close we can get in. And yeah, sometimes maybe we push it too far, but I enjoy it and it makes it challenging. We're out here in Colorado, I'm at Story Creek Outfitters, and I'm gonna be shooting my gun today. Tomorrow the season opens, and we're gonna be going after mule deer. Now I'm super excited. I'm gonna be shooting a 300 wind mag with the Deer Season XP 150 grain bullet. Should be all set, but I always like to check just before we head out, and uh, that way tomorrow we've got no excuses if we see a big buck right off the bat. Perfect, right in the center. Now these bullets, they are made for deer. And the mule deer out here, well, they are big. So you need to make sure you've got some knockdown power. And I knew this gun was gonna be the perfect solution. I've got all three of my shots right in here. I figured the gun was on, but you always like to check just in case. But we are gonna go out tomorrow and I cannot wait. Joey and got here. We got Melissa Bachman in camp this week. Although she's a little slow getting out of the truck, uh, it's just something we got to deal with as guides, but it's it's going to be a great week. <laughs> hey, Melissa, how are you? I didn't see you standing there. Weird. Even with the orange on. Let's see. Okay, I'm ready. Joey was his <laughs> typical self. He's messing around, and you know what? That's what I love about it out here. Not only do they have big bucks, 
but we're always having fun. That's actually pretty good. Well, it's chilly out here. We're going to try glassing. Hopefully we can get in nice and close on them, but it is awesome. It's cool to see all these bucks, and the best part is they're not all that spooky so yeah. far. Yeah, he so hasn't far. got to them yet, so. If you start shooting at them, it might be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm not going to make shots at them. We're going to get one shot. One is shot. It? Is that the point? One shot, that's, one that's big buck. That's what I like to hear right there, one shot. Closed captioning provided by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to locate a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that the Sportsman's Alliance has been working to introduce kids to the outdoors for more than a decade? Their Trailblazer Adventure Program has shared the joy of hunting, fishing, and trapping with more than 1.8 million kids and their families in all 50 states. Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. So when we got started on this hunt, well, we spotted a nice, big, wide 4x4. Four four. Now this deer was heavy, he had it all. The hard part is, he was living in some thick conditions. Yeah, normally, the third season rifle hunt, uh, the bucks are starting to rut, necks are starting to swell. This year it's supposed to be colder, a little snow on the ground, so it's definitely going to help us out. We will see a lot of deer. Um, it's just going to be a matter of finding the right deer. Oh, I see him. I see him going over to that other little bean in the Oh, yeah, yep. yep. That's a really nice buck. He was kind of just working his way up. We had a couple shots that are a little over 230. Not quite what we wanted. He's going to be cresting the top. He's with another buck. You're thinking going around to relocate yeah, him. We can get around that other side. And, uh, nice deer. Yeah, we got plenty of daylight. Try to get around that other side and find him, locate him, and then put a plan together and go from there. So Two nice bucks. Almost had a shot right as I was gonna shoot the ball. He's going up and over the ravine. So we thought, you know what, we'll get around, go to the other side, and finally that buck turned, moved, and we had one nice window where we had a shot. Okay. He's the one behind him, right? So yeah, he's the second one. and he came into it, and unfortunately, I needed about one more second. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, yeah, that's close. They're in that big, thick timber now. It's gonna be tough, and that, there's no way that stuff is super thick. I mean, we've been with it 20 yards stepping on them before we can kick them up. Oh well. One of the things I love about this area is the fact that when things don't go right, well, there's no reason to ever really get down about it because things could go right in a minute. Things change so quickly, especially when you have the number of deer that Joey has here. Yeah, definitely here in November with the rut coming on, every day is a possibility of finding new bucks moving into the area or coming out of where they've been hiding and stepping out. So every day we're going out and finding different deer and looking at different deer. So you never know every corner you come around what you're going to find. Yeah, I definitely make sure about look at the neck and the belly on him. Close the distance. See if we can't uh, maybe hopefully get a shot in here. When it comes 
comes to planning food plots, we all try to get the best that we can for the least amount of money and time. Well, I've decided to use the Moose ATV spreader to get food plots done quicker. Now, what I have here, it's about an acre field, and this didn't grow very well. We've got great corn on the other side, but this needs a little help. So we're putting a mix in just a little later in the season, but I've got several food plots to do, so this makes it really easy where I can get a lot done in a short amount of time. Now with this Moose Utility Division spreader, it'll actually go from five to 45 feet, which is huge, so that way you don't have to make so many passes through your field. Now you can put 145 pounds of seed here, and also you've got a set screw, so you can adjust how much seed is let out. And all this is controlled by a nice 12 volt variable speed motor, where you can switch it on and off right from the driver's seat. So overall, Anytime you can put food plots out, you're gonna have a better season. And I'm all about finding ways to make you more successful in doing that by taking less of your time. None of us wanna be spending too much time out there. I wanna get cameras out, I wanna do all sorts of other things. But when it comes to putting in food plots, the Moose Utility Division Spreader is the way to go. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Winchester, the American Legend, National Deer Alliance, HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories. And we had spotted another really nice buck. Now this looked like a big mature deer. He's got a big old belly, sway back, heavy antlers, and he's a tight rack mule deer. It's a good deer right there. Even even rival hunting, um, I like to get in close, as close as possible to these bucks. You know, uh, I enjoy archery hunting and I enjoy the challenge of getting as close as possible. But just being able to get in and get a really good shot on this deer um, is important to me. You know, uh, we can take 300 yard shots, but not everybody's comfortable shooting at 300. Even if you got sticks or whatever. Uh, so if we can get, we'd like to get within 150 and under, even closer if possible. And if we can make it happen, we can, you know, and it just it allows us to make a better shot and, and hopefully uh, fast recovery on the animal. Can you see him very good? I can see him, but it's getting pretty low light. By the time we stalked into where we found this deer, it was just too dark. Now, yes, I could see him through my scope, but I'm a firm believer in never taking marginal shots. The last thing I want to do is make a bad shot on the animal. He don't care. He doesn't know we're here. Let's just ease out of here. And we're losing light fast on him and decided just to back out and uh, try to get on him again. He's, he's, a, he's a great buck. He's tight racked. He's got good forks on him. Yeah. You can see he's got a big old belly on him. Yeah. We just didn't quite have enough light. That other one's nice, big, heavy, wide. He's got it all too. Yeah. But we've had, that's the cool thing about here is these deer. You know, we get in close, we're not spooking them, but if it doesn't work out, we've been backing out, can try it again the next day. No reason to really rush in on it. Yeah, I mean, they're not going nowhere. Um, we're not putting pressure on them. We'll get back on them in the morning. Well, the first thing out this morning when the other hunters in camp got this huge buck. Really nice, just nice deep forks, beautiful. You know, this is the kind of bucks that you get to see out in Colorado. Just nice, tall, not very wide, but got everything else. Got some cool extra stickers on it. Awesome deer. But it's one of those things. Anytime you leave a deer, you're always nervous. Is this going to work out okay? 
Are we gonna come back and he's gone? It's the rut, maybe he's gonna be chasing those. You just never know. And I kept kicking myself thinking, did I make the right call? Well, I did. So when we got out there the next morning, I was so thankful to see this buck again. However, things had changed. Instead of this buck being by himself, well now he had a bunch of does with him. And I'm waiting, there's does around, trying to make sure that nothing's in my shot. All of a sudden, one little fawn in front of him, you could tell she's starting to get nervous. Next thing I know, boom, they're gone. The entire group is gone. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Silent Legion Suppressors, embrace the silence. Everly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. Bino Dock, what a cup holder should be. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. Waterhole, create water sources that attract and hold wildlife. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International. First for hunters. Show your hunter pride by joining today at safariclub.org. We started off this morning, we got on that buck. Right as we were just kind of getting ready to shoot, one of the small fawns noticed something and they all took off running. So we kind of made a big circle around. They went into this thick stuff, but Joey thought there's kind of an opening in there. So he was going to look. I got him. Yeah, seems like we got him. Okay. We can, we can, we can just get the does. It's kind of a thick spot. We got a tight window, but I think we can get him. He's telling me, hurry up, let's go. He's in there. Joey, let me take this back. So we sneak up to the opening, and there's probably a two-foot window that we've got, and we are waiting, and all of a sudden that buck is coming through. And as soon as I got the okay, I put some pressure on the trigger and made a great shot. That's a good shot. It looked oh like a good God. shot. I can't believe this. This is turned in now. I'm just shaking like a leaf. Good buck. Oh good God. hunt. Beautiful buck. Good job. Good well, job. Yeah, I mean, it was literally the point. I thought we were done. It was over. We had one tiny window. He stepped through. We had to resituate. And it looked like a good shot, though. It looked like a great shot. It looked like you put it right, almost. Right, you tucked it right in the shoulder. It looked like to me. He he buckled hard. He's hit. He's hit. You hard. could see that deer season XP just ripple his whole body, and that's what I love when you can make a nice close shot. I ended up heart shooting him. We walk up, and this is just one beautiful bust. I told you he didn't go far. No, I don't think you went 40 yards. I told you. Good Holy job. smokes! Good job. Look at him from here. Oh man, good shot. I, th I thought you put it right there. Look Whoa, at that. Look at this buck. God. What a cool deer. Look at all that extras. You got a little hook in there. Got a little blade. Look at the blade. That is a good what deer. A nice I mean, buck. it couldn't have worked out any better. We slipped in there. They didn't know we were there. And we got probably within about 80 yards of him. And thank God he stood long enough that time. He made a mistake. 
I mean, unless I put a heck of a shot on him. What a cool deer. I'm, I think this might be one of my biggest bodied bucks I've ever seen. Look how big he is across yeah, his chest, good, his neck. Oh yeah, this was the king around here. And he's cool. got a lot of mass, a lot of character. Oh yeah, there's a lot of neat stuff going on. Well, we have been out here at Story Creek Outfitters and we have been having such a fun time. Usually I come out bow hunting this year. Yeah. Jax came along so couldn't bow hunt and came for a <laughs> rifle. And oh, what a beautiful buck. We're out here in southern Colorado and this is just an awesome place to hunt. The number of deer you see and then dealing with you <laughs> makes it all That's yeah, what everybody comes for is to hang out with me. Let Good me, thing you got me, some big bucks too. <laughs> You're like you got some big bucks. No, uh, we do have some great deer and I'll tell you what, this guy here is awesome. Ooh, what a hunt. This really has turned out amazing. And when you come out to Story Creek Outfitters, they literally treat you like family. It's an amazing operation and it is absolutely game rich. I always joke that, yeah, Joey's a blast, but he has got some huge bucks as well. So that always makes it awesome. And I absolutely love coming back and look forward to coming back each and every year. Follow Melissa on Twitter at Melissa Bachman, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Winchester Deadly Passion, and Instagram at Melissa underscore Bachman for behind the scenes footage, photos, giveaways, and much more. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone.